Advances in genetic testing are now identifying the underlying causes of thousands of rare diseases, diseases that used to be complete mysteries. Technology is also giving a teenager and her parents the answers they've been looking for for her entire life. So who knows somebody better than anyone in this room? Summer Negley is a kind and driven teenager, but since birth, she has had some unique health challenges. She couldn't lift her head up, she couldn't lift her arms up. Um, so we knew from the, from the first day that that there was something different. My husband and I looked at each other very scared and we vowed never to limit our child. They searched for answers which led them to Dr. Ann Connolly who helped find effective therapies and medications for summer. Keep going. Got it. Dr. Connolly promised that one day they would have a clear diagnosis for summer. I will walk with you and I I, even if I don't know the diagnosis today, I will keep trying. As Summer grew, so did advances in genetic testing. At age 16, she underwent whole exome sequencing at Nationwide Children's Hospital, which examines DNA sequences that impact how genes function. We just give the symptoms that the patient has, and they look through all of their genes to try to assess whether any alterations there could be explaining those symptoms. The results reveal that Summer is one of about 50 known cases of a rare genetic condition called Burke-Borel syndrome. She kept her promise to, to my daughter and that, that meant the world. She never stopped looking. She never stopped trying. <laughs> now, Summer has answers and new hope for better treatments. I just like to try to be as normal as I can be, but in my own way. And Summer's diagnosis allowed her family then to connect with others with the same condition, however few there may be, as well as leading experts working on new therapies. Researchers at Nationwide Children's Hospital have found that among their patients who could not be diagnosed through previous testing methods, a third have now received a clear answer through exome sequencing.